chemistry and physics, the Global Warming Edition. So the physics to explain global warming is what happens when the sun is it emits really short wavelength, high energy rays. And when they hit the Earth, the Earth reflects out longer wavelength rays, normally in the infrared region of the spectrum. So if we didn't have any greenhouse gases, we'd actually all freeze to death. So these greenhouse gases, for example, <laughs> carbon dioxide, methane and water vapour, they absorb the longer infrared region of the spectrum, which then keeps the temperature of the Earth at a good temperature for us to have liquid water, so we have life to fry. But the problem is, because of overpopulation and industry, there's too much of these gases now in our atmosphere. So loads or more of these infrared radiation waves are getting absorbed and getting re-emitted back towards the Earth, causing the whole temperature of the Earth to increase. And that's what global warming is. So Brooke has explained that greenhouse gases will absorb that infrared radiation and re-emit it to the Earth's surface. So let's look at the chemistry behind why these are our greenhouse gases. It comes down to their molecular structures and when they interact with infrared radiation they'll vibrate in a way that will change their overall dipole moment, so the separation in charges between the atoms within the molecule. They'll then re-emit that energy in all directions including back down to the earth's surface causing the temperature to increase. Follow us for more science content like this.